politically incorrect art show with uh, yours truly. As mentioned in the other video, previous video, you know, how would I describe this channel if I were to be asked, what do I do? I think I share my insight. share my knowledge, give me opinion on not just art, but on what, uh, how my imagination works and just uh, shit on my mind. But I don't want to give you this whole, um, again, what I really hate is being politically correct kind of shit. Because I feel that that, even being politically correct, that has slowed down my, um, my growth. You know, you shouldn't be drawing so many demons. You should draw more butterflies, more hearts, more roses, more flowers. You know, just more of the same boring shit that every motherfucker does. Do more landscapes, you know. Just straight out realism. Worship our celebrities, you know. Celebrities that don't give a fuck about you. Don't dare come to your neighborhood. Wouldn't dare come over for uh, one of your barbecues. wouldn't dare eat the fucking fast food shit you're eating. Let's draw those people and worship them. Fuck that. How about, um... And I'm not saying that uh, I don't watch any movies nor TV shows. But I could really give a fuck if, uh, a lot of shows would get canceled tomorrow. I wouldn't, uh, it would make me uh, think up. It would make me read more. It would make me uh, imagine more. It would make me uh, wonder more. Um, I don't need Hollywood to fucking tell me how to imagine what to think. I don't need their approval for shit. And I think so many of us. We live our lives according to, um, man, will people like this? Will they judge me? Am I getting the right career? Is my car the right color? Is this the right sports car? And, uh, I tell people, just go with your fucking gut. Go with your gut, make shit happen. Uh, share it with the world. Um, Me, I just want to give you just my perspective on that. Uh, uh, I realize that the more that I learn, the more that I practice, the more that I travel, the more people that I meet, the more ignorant that I am. The more I think of how fucking huge the universe is, I realize how. Um, um, the word how irrelevant my art is or my creativity is but also how how amazing it is irrelevant because uh, well if you look at the size of the universe it really means nothing right because it's just uh, merely an atom on our planet which is a speck of blue dust in the cosmos, but also, you know, we could look uh, through the telescopes and uh, nobody's discovered uh, life elsewhere. So it is pretty rare. And, um, and, and we're evolving, you know, we, we do have problems with greed, agendas, corrupt politicians, pieces of shits like fucking the Clinton Foundation, the Clinton family, the Bushes, and other motherfuckers that, uh, Tony Blair, the royal family, just fuckers that, um, I think, uh, remind us or tell us that, uh, 
you know, that were peasants, not um, that were different. And to me, it's uh, I'm saying fuck all that shit, you know. All these motherfuckers, you know, we all shit, cuss, have bad thoughts, have good thoughts, have hopes, have dreams. And uh, with the internet now, I think we could, um, man, we could uh, reach out and touch someone on another, on another city, in another neighborhood, in another city, in another county, in another state, in another country, another continent. with just the uh, smartphone smarter than human phone but, uh, you know, how many of us are actually making that happen and, and I do go on uh, YouTube and I look at a ton of uh, other people's videos like man, let me see how they did it, what they titled it. Man, this shit got that many views. I'm like, fuck, this is bullshit. So whatever your subject that interests you, and go fuck bits basket weaving, making quilts, making cookies making ribs mm. I always enjoy a great steak or a great platter of ribs then again uh, which dude really doesn't just good food I think a lot of you motherfuckers out there that you guys know something you guys know your grandma's recipe your uncle's recipe your grand granddad's famous smoked ribs recipe You guys have so much information, and I think uh, you can share it with the world, uh, capitalize it. You know, don't be a fucking weenie. Stop doing that. You know, there's a uh, there's a world out there. There's people out there that want to see your stuff, want to want to know it, want to buy it. You can appreciate it. Um, that uh, believe in you. That think, man, you know. Um, you know, put it out there. You know, I can only do so much uh, YouTube uh, surfing, online surfing, and run into the same names for philosophy, for business, for uh, business strategy for drawing, for this or that subject, and we're a uh, world with billions of people. <laughs> it's not just a handful of motherfuckers that are that smart. It is not. But these bastards have made their voice heard, or what be recognized, and, uh, you know, they've set the standard, or, or, or are being known as the standard, but... Not, not to take anything away from people that know what they already do, but... I believe that, uh, there's just so much, so much talent out there that hasn't been, um... Um, been noticed. And because people, uh, I think it's a lot of people, we doubt ourselves, we, uh... We sabotage ourselves, and we like, no, 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 I shouldn't do that, I should, uh, I shouldn't think like that, I should just, um, just go with the program and keep on, keep on working here in the cubicle, in my little dungeon, in my little, uh, corporate prison cell. Do you think having a white-collar job is the shit? Is it? That's that's your life. 
I think it'd be a great start to um, um, to learn something, learn about business, communication, organization, um, I worked at McDonald's years and years ago, but uh, those lessons are still with me, of, um, do you want to fucking be stuck here flipping burgers? Having high school kids fucking, uh, you know, listening to their commands. Yes, sir. No, sir. That extra cheese. Yeah, motherfucker. Give me some extra cheese on that then. Make the uh, fries extra crispy. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Time some little fucking tenth, listening to some fuck, <laughs> some little fucking tenth grader telling you that shit. And I'm like, and uh, doing it with a fucking smile because uh, you can't get fired because uh, because you dare not to um, venture out, increase your human capital, um, believe in yourself, and fuck that, do it, do it. I just, I just feel like I need to speak aggressively because, as I said before, um, I just hate seeing talent go to waste. This is, you know, our life is finite. Finite, you know. We're not in the fucking wild west where, um, if you want to go to another city, you need to go get in a carriage, get a healthy horse. Or see if you can afford a train ticket to another city, get there, have enough money to get there, be aware of outlaws, bandits. You know, we got apps, you know, you don't really you don't have to go out there and do that shit. If you want, if you're a fucking shy motherfucker, you could just, uh, you know, sit down and, uh, Network through Facebook. I do all my Facebook promotion just because it's it's there. Um, as I watch the uh, YouTube video, figure let me add a couple motherfuckers. Who knows what could happen? It could be a. But fuck it, it's not. It's nothing like going out there. Having your boots on the ground, going door to door and meeting people, networking, selling your shit. And, uh, man, just, I've had some incredible experiences. Um, just uh, on the road, uh, making shit happen for making shit happen for myself. I, uh, I, can, I recommend you fuckers do it. Do it, man. Give a fuck about your gender, age, sexual orientation, or your fucking religion, or anything like that. Go out there and make it happen. You know, I'm I'm nobody special, just like you. Just like you, except a little more, uh, maybe a little bit more consistent, maybe, or a little more stubborn. Probably the hardest thing right now about trying to sit on this uh, old ass fucking chair that I need to. 
I'll replace and get something more cushiony fucking uh, seat. But uh, that's it for now. Remember, no excuses. Just make it happen. Go forward because uh, that's all that we can do.